Heritage Award and to take our place among the greats like Saturday Night Live, The Dick Van Dyke Show, 60 Minutes, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> I began with Dave as the receptionist on his morning show 35 years ago. I was a terrible receptionist, so I was promoted <laughs> and promoted until I became the executive producer. <laughs> Most of our staff worked with Dave for 15, 20 years or more. The people over there at my table Walter Kim and Nancy Agostini, they met working on the show. And now they have two beautiful girls, and Dave announced their birth on the show, uh, Jane and Abby, just like Dave announced Sheila Rogers' son, Arlo, and my son, Simon, just like he did everyone's children. Because Dave is a, is a man who inspires loyalty. And speaking of loyalty, and trying to speak as well, <laughs> uh, over these last 35 years, you critics, have generally seemed to like us, and we are very grateful for that. Dave would probably say, it's just a TV show, what's all the fuss? I believe the fuss is that Dave is the Johnny Carson of our generation. I believe he's been Carson, Steve Allen, and Edward R. Morrow all rolled into one. Dave brought us the Velcro suit, Stupid Petrix, the Top Ten list, Chris Elliott under the seats, uh, camera strapped to uh, a monkey's head. His amazing 9-11 monologue to name just a few things. Dave changed how we look at the talk show. We put on a show and we made fun of it at the same time. It's been a wonderful ride these last 35 years. It really, really has been. So on behalf of Dave and everyone at The Late Show, thank you very much for this lovely piece of glass. 